Uh, hello, everyone. I'm excited to have Ken Berry here with us today. He's the CEO of Blockchain Network, which is why we're really excited to have him here to talk about his experience in the industry. Ken, thank you so much for joining us. How are you today? Yeah, I'm good. Actually, I'm so very proud that uh, you choose me as one of your uh, interviewees here in, uh, on, your, uh, on this, this session. So I'm grateful and uh, I'm honored to, to be invited here as well. Okay, yeah, thank you for adding, by the way, he's the CEO of Blockchain Network Philippines. Yeah, so here's my first question. Uh, what inspired you to create your own blockchain network? Yeah, actually, uh, I didn't create an uh, own blockchain network, but I created an empire and a blockchain uh, communities in the Philippines. So I'm not just uh, the CEO and founder of Blockchain Network Philippines, but also uh, I'm also the, the founder of Mindanao Blockchain Association. And also I've been working in different crypto projects since 2016. So I've been in seven years in crypto space. So the Blockchain Network Philippines is like uh, they, uh, we are the first custodial outsourcing company or Web3 digital marketing that is focused on the Web3. So uh, I have 150 employees right now working with 42 active crypto projects and we are backed by 25 venture capitals. So uh, uh, I have lots of uh, partners in different uh, projects. Uh, you know, we provide lots of services to our clients. We are the one who help them, you know. Uh, since 2020, we work with 200 plus crypto projects. Uh, some are top notch, some are the big names in crypto space. And of course, we, we work with some uh, projects already that also fails, you know. And, and for that, I'm so very thankful because I'm, I'm learning from their failures and want to to uh, change that in, in our future in diverse. Yeah, so, okay. so that's it. Thank you. <laughs> okay. And my second question, what makes your blockchain network unique compared to others? Uh, I believe I don't want to compare myself uh, or my company to others. Why? Because we are the only got the license. We, we don't have freelancers. Our 150 employees right now is a full time in the blockchain network in the Philippines. So imagine handle this kind of employees. And in fact, we are also uh, joining the Inter-BPO League. So that is like a sports fest with the went to BPO company or the call center company here in the Philippines. And, you know, most of them are in the web to space and we are the only web three. And in fact, our name is Blockchain Network Philippines. And they, they say like, oh, there is a blockchain? Is that a crypto? You know? So I tapped their curiosity already. And now lots of uh, web two projects projects and even call center projects, they asked me how they build this kind of empire. Imagine since uh, our our peak is we work with 98 projects in a month with 450 employees. Imagine how really big we are. I can imagine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. And uh, how do you think uh, this uh, like blockchain technology will shape industries in the future? Yeah, actually, um, when it comes in blockchain, there are lots of uh, technology and there are lots of values, you know, and people are getting uh, more adaptions, more especially here in the Philippines. Uh, when it comes in Philippines, uh, we are famous on a, maybe top one to three on the Metamask. So imagine Metamask, uh, more especially on the Axie Infinity, you know, before. Yeah, so uh, Philippines, uh, Filipinos are really love to play games, to uh, adapt cryptocurrency, blockchain technology, and a lot more. Uh, there are lots of uh, people, uh, most especially the Gen Z and the millennials, are getting educated in the blockchain space. So, okay. yeah, that uh, you know, there are lots of um, media partners that we have are already partners here in the Philippines. So some are you know uh, from local to an international, and we are keep. Um, educating. Uh, in fact, the Blockchain Network Philippines going to different universities just to teach about uh, how blockchain works. And uh, yeah, universities, local governments or LGUs, of course, uh, they are the one who, uh, you know, to invite us to talk because we have the license already. And our license, we have the business permit, we pay taxes, you know, we have, uh, we provide a good services to our clients and also to our employees as well. So yeah, we don't have freelancers, that's it. 
<laughs> All right. And despite of like university, can you share any partnerships or collaboration your blockchain network has formed with other companies or organizations? Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually, I'm the founder of Mindanao Blockchain Association. So meaning to say this uh, association is aiming not just to educate, but how we can attract the Web2 to adopt the Web3 ecosystem and how the Web3 can connect into a Web2 ecosystem. So in fact, I have an also a project, uh, only project here in the Philippines that has a seven license uh, that the EM, EMI, BASP, that they can also create and their own exchange in the future. So actually, you know, they are uh, a payment gateway that that uh, I, I've been uh, also a part of the team. So yeah, I'm 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 looking forward on uh, you know. Okay, nice. I forgot. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I forgot. Yeah. It's fine. Sorry, sorry, it's sorry. fine. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah. Don't worry. And. Uh, Thank you, by the way, for your answer. It's really cool. Mm -hmm. And what measures uh, are you taking to ensure the security of your blockchain network? Yeah, for when it comes in a blockchain network, you know, uh, I would love to hear more about like uh, how our government react on mm -hmm. the on the blockchain side and how they can adopt it. Because of course, I'm more familiar in the in the laws here in the Philippines. In fact, uh, when I go to Indonesia in G2020, uh, one of my topic as a panel a panelist is a blockchain law. So I talk to them and expose to them how the blockchain works here in the Philippines, the cryptocurrency and everything. The taxes and uh, I believe that uh, the government should have created uh, another form of agency or uh, that is supported back by the government that uh, also have a real security for, for the blockchain, you know, for the blockchain projects. And uh, I'm pro on having on um, uh, taxes rather than they ban uh, the said cryptocurrencies website. So, so I'm pro with the taxes because I believe the kind of system, you know, the econ economy, we could help our um, government as well. It's a win-win situation on both sides. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Everyone's talking about uh, government regulations and crypto. Yeah, and that's very important. Uh, can you give any details about upcoming upgrades or improvements to your blockchain network? Yeah, actually, we have different uh, marketing stuff. Of course, uh, we also have off we handle offline and online events. We have influencers, we have media, we have uh, KOLs, brand builders. Uh, we also provide the community managers 24 7. Uh, we are also provide, we raise funds, building awareness, building growth, connecting the dot, global scale. Yeah, that's my job. So I keep going to different countries, not just become a speaker, but also I want to learn. I really love to learn to, to those people that success and failures, you know. So that's why next month, um, we have also guilds, by the way, we have also guilds, sales, or legion team. We also provide that. Yeah, uh, I'm assuming, of course, I'm assuming that uh, one of that uh, we are cooking of course i'm the one who help our rappers uh and when it comes into entertainment i already created two uh, music video that is also related into crypto and blockchain yeah so this year i will create a new one again and i'm uh, sure that uh, you are uh you will be like it like uh you will, i will be adding your logos you know uh and uh we created with those artists a uh, real rappers a lot uh local rappers here in the Philippines. The same like uh, Eminem and uh, Snoop Dogg, right? So yeah, in fact, and there are lots of, uh, we have also um, another uh, umbrella of, of BNP, which is the, the, the background. The name itself is the background. So there, the idea is more on documentary side, on how we can connect and the stories behind of those failures, success, scams, and everything in crypto space. So they are more on like a story like in the Netflix documentaries. Yeah. So this will be launched soon as well. Yeah. And hoping if you, you know, if you, so for those listeners that wants to, um, wants to connect in the Philippines, of course, just let me know. Uh, I have lots of connections and maybe, you know, and I would like, I would also please invite those investors or the viewers that wants to invest in the Philippines to have an Ethereum Philippines as well. So that's one of my dreams that uh, the Ethereum Foundation will come to the Philippines and have an Ethereum Philippines as well. Because I saw a lot of you know Ethereum Philippines in Tokyo, in Vietnam, oh come on. 
we are also part of the world. <laughs> so, so I'm looking forward uh, for Ethereum Philippines to uh, to have an ETH um, Philippines, but not just you know, not just for ETH Philippines, but also for those um, uh, people that wants to uh, connect with us. Just let me know. We are always online and active for you guys. All right. Thank you. And I have one tricky question uh, as well. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Uh, has your blockchain network experienced any significant security breaches or hacks? That's that's a good question. Actually, of course, there are lots of hackers uh, in the space, and uh, we we are aware of this risk anytime. There are lots of, but uh, we experience not major side like mostly the common side. Like uh, they created, uh, you know, they copy our face and they're trying to. Uh, yeah, they, they they keep duplicating our page. They keep duplicating our names. But when it comes in hacking, like major side, like breaching our website or breaching our application, no, we don't do that. And uh, we are here to provide services. You know, we are here to provide services, marketing services to our clients, connections wise and everything. So we we don't have like a major. Uh, experience and comes in hacking and yeah and i am and, and I, i'm assured with that that uh, uh, we are aware so of course as a ceo of course uh, I, I know how to deal with these uh hackers <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay how does your blockchain network solve real world problems of course uh number one is entertainment education story and i treat my uh, services as a water a water a water that uh, everyone needs water so we are here on how we can help uh, develop connect build so that's mostly our uh, a company if you could check our website uh, that's my mission and vision i want to help our fellow filipinos to create jobs opportunities educate them you know what and one of my uh, motto is we are, I'm creating a history that they've never seen before. So I actually, this is already uh, started, and you know, and uh, yeah, from one man army to an empire, and now we are getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So I'm looking forward on how we can help. More especially, I really love to you know to connect with those uh, AI's metaverse, uh, like uh, more more crypto projects in the future, not just meme short. Meme coins, yeah. All right. So I have uh, my last question for you. Mm -hmm. uh, what role do you see blockchain technology playing in shaping the global financial system? Um, right now, uh, since you know, I heard some someone that, uh, especially in the Asia, that they will create a digital currency, uh, digital currency that is backed by blockchain. Some saying that this is uh, backed by uh, actual fiat. It's the same with stable coin. Uh, however, I really love on how to, you know, to more than that, like not just backed by fiat, but also backed by gold, backed by resources or even oil. So yeah, so I believe if that kind of uh, payments or or I've seen that there is also not just an NFTs, but also like a SIM card that is backed by, uh, you know, uh, any uh, assets that would be great as well. Um, yeah, uh, stable coin uh, will be more uh, ad adapt uh, adapting in the future because, uh, of course, um, paper money is so one of the uh, dangerous, uh, you know, dangerous uh, or uh, dirtiest money in, in the world. You know, so paper money or even the coins can uh, can get COVID or any uh, negative uh, to our health, of course, most especially to the child. So if we can uh, teach our our fellow children in the future uh, or our uh, fellow community, more especially those children, then yeah, I believe uh, that will be uh, more success in the future. Yeah, I believe so too. Thank you, Ken, so yeah. much. It was a pleasure to talk to you. 